What's up, humans? Welcome to another episode of Shots from the Winchester podcast brought to you by Greencastle Consulting. I'm your host, Al Green. And today we're talking to Mike Murray. Now, you're the event specialist here yes. at Greencastle. Yeah. 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 And you're originally from Florida. Uh, no, I'm originally from Jersey. Oh, Jersey. And I lived in Florida for like seven years. Oh, okay. What did you prefer? I, I mean, I don't neither. It's okay. You can say something bad about Jersey. No, yeah, I, I definitely don't prefer Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. Oh, uh, you know, that's a good joke around here, Philly and, and Jersey. Yeah, We're always yeah. like button heads. I don't know what's up. I have family in Jersey, and I, and we moved back up from Florida, like, mm-hmm. you know, last year. Yeah. And I think I've only been there twice. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really don't yeah. want to go to Jersey at all. <laughs> I almost had to go to Jersey yesterday because my wife needed to go to Joanne Fabrics. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I put it in the GPS when we were downtown on Walnut Street, and it was taking me to Jersey. And I didn't look at it. It said Marlton Pike. I was like, oh, no, hell no. I'm not, There's no way I'm going into Jersey at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's good things about New Jersey. Mm-hmm. But there's so many things that are not good. <laughs> you know? Um, it gets a lot of jokes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if anyone has ever been like, oh, I love New Jersey. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, if you live there, yeah. I mean, there's a benefit, obviously, to the whole thing. It's just, obviously it's a, it's a good look yeah. <laughs> for for them. You know, there's a lot of a lot well, of open you spaces. You don't know what you don't know, right? And, you know, yeah. if you've never gone anywhere, then yeah. you don't know how good or bad something is. Right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to talk to you because, like, you order like the food uh, here for like every event. We have happy hours. Um, that happens every uh, every month. Uh, we also have events like Family Day and Vet Fest and everything like that. And you're responsible for getting um, a lot of the vendors involved in, in those events um, and, and things like that. So I was thinking about food and I was like, what's popular in Philadelphia? You know, what kind of foods are popular in Philadelphia? Obviously, everybody thinks about food here in Philly. They think about cheesesteaks. They think about yeah. uh, pretzels and stuff like that. So what I did, and this was in thinking about you, I went to visit Philly, and I found this article that said the top 11 foods in Philadelphia. Now, yeah. So I, I wanted to run through this list and just get your opinions on some of this stuff. So um, top 11, visit Philly uh, or visit Philadelphia website. The number 11 is the pork roll. Are you familiar with a pork roll? So in Jersey, it's called a Taylor ham. Oh, really? I didn't know there was a new, another. Okay. Yeah, there's another name for it. It's That's Taylor cute. ham. I mean, you know, Taylor ham, egg and cheese is mm. the diner. Like I used to get that all the time. Right. Um, and my dad used to, you know, get the big old slab of Taylor ham and whatnot. Whoa. Um, but I didn't realize they called it something else or yeah, you know, pork roll I'm... until I came to PA. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah pork so roll. my wife is from PA, so mm. she calls it pork roll and I call it Taylor ham. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys like butt heads on that? Do you, is this no. something you you guys go after, like eat more? No, no, no. I mean, I haven't. You know, like special special occasions. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but I mean, I haven't probably touched that in like a, 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 probably years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not, not a not a, a normal um, reoccurring food mm. that comes in the house. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah. I don't I don't go after pork very often. I mean, bacon happens, but like yeah. I don't buy bacon necessarily you know and you're you're more healthy too i i, I take some notes from you and in, in fact from uh i try yeah I try. <laughs> well the number 10 is goldberg peanut shoes are you familiar with the peanut shoes uh, let me see the picture of that so the picture right there it's a oh, candy yeah, yeah, bar yeah yeah. yeah yeah i i think it's one of those things that i don't prefer i think it's really too like like the word chew yeah it's too chewy i mean they're good it's not like my I mean, I'm not, you know, I used to be a candy person, but I'm not yeah. anymore. Mm-hmm. But it's not something that I would reach for. But yeah. if, like, someone was like, hey, you want a peanut chew? I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Why not? So the description for it is uh, dense but gooey bars of nuts and sweet syrupy molasses enrolled or enrobed in chocolate. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they're, I mean, they are pretty good. Yeah. Peanut chew. That's number 10 on the list of things to try in Philadelphia, like foods that are on the list. We should right have there. those in the office. I mean, I don't mm-hmm. you know. Peanut shoes? Yeah. Don't I we mean, have the, like, the tiny ones? I know we have a, like a bunch of like little... I know there's like a little fun-sized candy bowls all around. Yeah. Um, but I know there's a bunch of Hershey products, but I don't think mm-hmm. that there is... Any those. peanut shoes in the mix, so. yeah. That'll make this. This makes me want to try it again, just so that I have some like data points to know whether or not I yeah. actually enjoy it. Or and not. like honestly, like if you think about it, you know, like if, you know, when I was younger, I didn't like mushrooms. 
Mm. And for some reason, I don't know if I like, I just didn't want to try it. I don't know if they look, look weird or whatever. I don't think <laughs> yeah. I ever tried a mushroom. I just didn't want it. Right. And then like I deployed and came back and mm. I had mushrooms and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I was like, these are delicious. Yeah. Why, why was I so against these things? Well, you know, taste buds change every right. 10 years. So it might have been something that way. Right. And ultimately like you're, you know, it's, I think that and like whatever you have, perspective wise in mm. your life you know and it's yeah. like sometimes you know you kids you're a kid and you see something you're like yeah that looks gross and like, mm. i want to eat that <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna say like i want to eat like you know like an eyeball of something you know what i mean like some people <laughs> eat like eye. yeah or, like yeah. fish eyeballs i'm not saying i want to eat that but like no. No. my my horizon of food has kind of expanded a little bit more yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I maybe I appreciate food more. Yeah. Now you were in the military, so you were in the military. How long were you in the military? Uh, I mean, I guess on paper it was like in the guard nine years. Nine years. Um, wow, nice. You know, that's it, it's like only probably like two years full active. But mm. um, I got out in 2006, 2012. I got out, and then I had a break in service, mm. and then 2015 to 2018 is when I was in again. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service, obviously. Yeah. That's a, a good run. And everybody here at Green Castle is a veteran uh, or active service, maybe even on guard or something like that. So a um, uh, good shout out to everyone here that works here, uh, especially right. veterans. And let's jump into number nine, which mm -hmm. is red gravy pasta dinner. Red gravy pasta dinner. Are you familiar? Gravy or sauce? Like red well, sauce. So that's the debate, right? So sauce gravy um, what's the difference so i think it's one more watery sauce. one more thick yeah well also if anyone has any comments about this please leave a comment on the video uh if you have any questions especially about anything that we're talking about today or if you know anything about the difference between gravy and sauce because like i know i think they call it gravy in italy mm -hmm. but we call it sauce here so yeah. do they say to tomato gravy on pizza uh, maybe i don't know if you know, all leave of our a Italian friends, <laughs> help us out. <laughs> help us out with this one. <laughs> the meatballs are, in are insane, though. Like they're huge. Yeah. I went to the Italian market um, years ago, and I watched these guys make the meatballs, and each meatball is exactly the same size. They make it every like, single time, like a, an Italian mom. They're yeah. Like a, they're all. Yeah. Even if they're like a man making it, they're Italian mom at heart. Yeah. Well, it was a guy making it. But like he's that's what I'm like, saying. Like, but inside, inside Italian mom. mom, yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah. I'm not even gonna try an accent because I butcher yeah. it and no. make fun of. Oh, I know. Honestly, it would be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a hot mess. It's a great to meet the ball. <laughs> well, that's number nine on your list. The next one is tomato pie. So, I, the tomato pie. Hey. Oh wait, what do you, like, you have an opinion about it? I've never had it. Oh, I is that like a meal thing or is that a dessert it's like a pie so like it's like uh it's like pizza except it's in a square oh uh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah napoleon ones or whatever yeah i like my my bread and mm -hmm. tomato sauce with cheese yeah yeah I don't, it's I, I don't surprisingly it's good. really good for is there any kind of different that. spices on there i think the tomato is more of a paste and so mm. you get a different texture of it and you get a different like um it, that's the hero so it has to stand out obviously mm -hmm. on the bread you know, and mm -hmm. I don't chase these. I don't go after tomato pies. I, yeah. I'm, I'm more of just so like you'll a eat it if it's guy. there or if it's like close by yeah. or like you know it's like it's I'm near the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That kind I, of stuff. I probably wouldn't chase that either. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, here's a good one. Number seven, Scrapple. Ah. Uh, I grew up on Scrapple when I was a kid. Like, I don't know what's in it. It's like you know, everything gonna, I mean, that's left over. You know, <laughs> we're probably gonna get some some some, some hate for. Like that is a Pennsylvania staple. I know. <laughs> I know, you know Scrapple. Like, I grew up on Scrapple. It's a mixture of pork, spices, and uh cornmeal, uh sliced into to uh pan fry. Um it's a salty, crispy breakfast uh meat. Okay. I I it's debatable mm. to me if I call it actually like a meat. Yeah. I don't know what to call it, because I don't I don't call it meat. I obviously don't call it I only call it Scrapple. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think I've actually, I think, moved, well, I think when I joined, because I was in Jersey, I lived mm -hmm. in Jersey, and I joined the PA Guard. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but I think that's the first time I actually had Scrapple. Right. Um, and then, I, you know, I just, I don't know. It's I kind don't, of salty. I don't gravitate 
I don't gravitate towards it. Yeah. Like if it's there, I'm like, mm, I don't. Just, for some reason, I just don't want to eat it. Not necessary. No, I mean, yeah. no. I mean, wrong. If like it was the only thing that was there and I was hungry, then I, I'd probably. Eat oh, it. hey, I tear it up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but like, if I had a choice. Mm-mm. Yeah. No, not not especially if there's other options. Yeah. Yeah. So that's number seven on their list of things to try in Philadelphia. That's a staple here in Philadelphia. Um, tasty cakes is number oh. six. Mm. Ah, love some What's tasty cakes. What's the one? Um, the butterscotch crimpet. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah, those are those were my favorite. Those are so good. Yeah. I I had a problem for a while. I the, there was always a box in my car, like I, on that, my way driving places and coming back. That is a places. problem. Yeah, I, just, I don't think I've hard. ever been that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I don't think I ever had a box to the face. That and crimpets, <laughs> the, the the crimpets that have the the jelly inside, the mm-hmm. three holes in it. You know, I you know I I I have those, but I don't. That's not like that's a, not your favorite. No, it's the butterscotch. Yeah. You know, because like the butter and you just like the moist cake. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's just like I'm like um yeah. I'm like having a mental thought of me <laughs> eating it right now. And it's consistent, like the value of the quality of it is always yeah. consistent. Did you, didn't mm-hmm. they almost like didn't they discontinue that for a little while? Oh, man, I hope not. I think they did. I mean, this was many years ago. Okay, because uh, it's back, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's round, yeah. Yeah, they, there's, I think they, I mean, either that or wherever I was at, mm-hmm. geographically, they didn't have it, and uh, I was very upset. They don't have while. Tasty Cake on the West Coast, because my wife's from the West Coast, and she didn't know what Tasty Cakes were. Her uh, sister came over um, Isn't that like a, a national ago. chain, though? Or I a, thought like, so. Is it Libby, Little Debbie? No. Hostess. My hostess. Hostess. Yeah. But Hosters, Tasty Cakes is like, Hosters. I guess, like a, just like a, a local thing. It's just a Philly thing. Maybe so. Because there's a Tasty Cakes um, uh, building yeah. over on, off of Island Avenue. Or yeah. Penrose Avenue, actually. Yeah. I think it's down that, like you're heading towards um, the Navy Yard mm. down there. There's a spot out there. And as soon as you drive through, it just smells like you just want to eat the air. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there was a Chips Ahoy factory mm. in Paramus? I think, or around the Paramus area in New yeah. Jersey. And, uh, you know, used to drive past the cookie when the cookies were being made. Mm. And, uh, it, yeah, it yeah. was like, you know, like the cloudy with the chance of meatballs. Like you think like <laughs> some food's falling from the sky. It was yeah. So, yeah, it was so good. Oh, my God, that sounds delicious. You know, of course, they like cook the cookies at like the right perfect time. Like you're driving home from work and you're yeah. hungry, you know, and you're like <laughs> drooling. You're like, mm. right. That's how they get you. They're like, yeah, they're. Everyone driving right now is going mm-hmm. to go buy some of this. Right. You know who they're thinking about. <laughs> Cookies. For real. Another big staple, number five on the list, is water ice. I mean... Water la- is well, ice. Ice is water. Like, so what's water in your, ice. When you get ice in your drink, in your in your water mm-hmm. at the restaurant, what, you know, like, can yeah. I just get water and water? <laughs> frozen water? Can I get some frozen water inside of my regular water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Chilled. another good thing about Philly is like you know we're saying water, but most people say water. So. Yes, <laughs> uh, I actually like I think that's a Jersey thing. Oh, is water. It? Oh, you think... I'm saying water now. But All I, right, we'll blame I it say on it Jersey. Water, water. Yeah, yeah I, I do it too. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so that's number five on the list. Did you know they do? I think I don't know what day it is, but mm. Rita's gives out a free. Like yeah. water ice, mm. you know, at whatever at all their locations. I can't remember when that is, but I, I mean, do recall that. Yeah, like maybe when they open up for the for the yeah, for it's the like it's like a something. few weeks after they open up or mm. something like that. Yeah, you know, if you have never done that, go check it out. Go check it out for mm. sure. Like re- that water ice is so good. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Um, so the, oh, this is a good one. Number four on their list. Um, this is the visit Philadelphia. Um, if you want to check out the list, Philly soft pretzels. Now they're the figure eight pretzels. Clearly. You know, this is something big in Philadelphia. Doesn't like somewhere in Europe make the chocolate pretzels? Oh, uh, if so, that's probably like like Belgium, Belgium, or someplace like that. They would put chocolate on everything. Well, it's the same as like how we eat waffles for breakfast, but they eat waffles as a snack. They mm-hmm. don't even know how we do it. It's like how are you eating snacks for breakfast? Oh. Well, <laughs> we built can. different. Yeah, <laughs> because we can. Because we're going. We're American. It's called freedom. <laughs> Freedom waffles. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Philly um, soft pretzels are great because you put the mustard on it. Um, a lot of places, especially do you, if you... Uh, do you like the salt? I... See, like, I don't like too much salt on my pretzel. Like, yeah. So, you know, it's like when it's like just completely covered, like almost like mm. looks like road salt. Sometimes, yeah. Sh- like I got to take most of that off. I got to like yeah. take off like 95 
ninety nine percent of that. I'm, I'm I'm with you there. I don't I, I don't like it super salty. No. I like to like kind of like light because then yeah. I want my mustard. I like spicy mustard. Yeah. On my pretzels, so like and a I, brown mustard or something like that, and I think yeah. that's enough. That the salt can uh c- kind of be overpowering yeah. with that type of mustard. I feel like they do that as well, like especially at, like ball games and stuff like that, because mm. they want you to drink. Yeah, more they want beer. you to drink real, yeah, for real. Yeah. So yeah. as much salt as possible is what they want to give you. Right. <laughs> and like, let's make these guys thirsty. <laughs> well, that's number four on the list. Number three. So now we're getting down here. Okay, roast pork sandwich okay i can't say that i'm a fan uh well i don't even know mm-hmm. i don't even think i know what that is a roast pork sandwich right i've had pork sandwiches before i mean roasted like, pork sandwiches before yeah. they're pretty decent um depending on what ingredients you're into but recently i tried um uh potato chips flavored like this i won't say the brand name um but i tried roasted pork potato chips uh, roasted pork sandwich potato chips, mm-hmm. and I'll I'll be honest with you, um, it, it did it tasted pretty bad. I won't explain exactly what bad it tasted it's, like. It's, it's yeah, probably... the stink face. Yeah, yeah. you get <laughs> get the gas yeah. face for that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was not my favorite, not my favorite. But number three on the list in Philadelphia. So I mean, people in Philadelphia really say, "Hey, go for this roast pork sandwich." Um, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, like I mean, um, again, it's, I. More power know, to you. I probably wouldn't like yeah. see that on the menu and be like, mm, that looks good. Mm, yeah, let me get no, that. Yeah, no, 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 not 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 on my list. Sorry. <laughs> but that's number three though, so it's pretty high up. So obviously we don't know what we're talking about. I know. That's right. I'll, I'll Next. stay in the dark. <laughs> Next is obviously the hoagie. Yeah, um, this is huge here. Everyone loves a hoagie. Um you either it, call it a hoagie or a sub. Yeah, so in yeah. Jersey, we didn't call it hoagies. We mm. call them subs. Subs and, ho- yeah. and hoagies here, subs there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know why you would call it a sub, honestly, because <laughs> subs to me sound like yeah. a ship that goes in the water underwater. Right? I think because the bread looks like a sub. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't ever even... I don't know why you'd yeah. call it a hoagie. <laughs> True. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hoagie doesn't make any sense either, but at least it says. Unless there's it's... an actual reason for it, <laughs> let us know. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. yeah, if you know the difference, why a sub versus a hoagie, or or whatever, let leave a comment because like we would love to learn. Hey, you don't know what you that. don't know, and I like to know stuff, so <laughs> send some information this way. Jump on in. What kind of hoagies or subs do you actually like? Do you prefer? Um, I like, I have like phases of stuff. Mm. So, you know, like when I did eat candy, it would be like, I'd, you know, get a Snickers bar and mm. I would get that for like every day, like, yeah. you know, one Snickers bar every day for like two weeks and then it would change to like Reese's Pieces and then it would change to like peanut butter cups after like, you know, mm. it, the days didn't matter. So like, usually it's like a turkey provolone cheese with mm. like lettuce and tomato and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe some banana peppers. Mm-hmm. Um... But honestly, like hoagies, that's probably my like go to. Yeah. And then depending on what other options might be, like a party or like event, like mm. roast beast, roast beef, beast, roast, roast beast. beef. Right? I'm the Grinch now. <laughs> hey. Um, roast beef is probably mm. the second choice. Oh, favorite. Yeah. And then it's like ham. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm the classic ham and cheese guy, but I'm a big fan of like the Italian hoagie, mm-hmm. you know, with all those flavors. Um, the um, like you said, the banana peppers, mm-hmm. all that stuff's really good. Um, in a sandwich like that, my favorite thing though, eat half the sandwich, the other half put it in the air fryer, mm-hmm. dress it up when you get home, put it, maybe a little bit more mayo on it, and it's got that crisp to it. Oh my god! Do you remember Quiznos? Oh yeah, Quiznos. Yeah, they wow. went. They went out of business. Uh, well, it's because they had that silly commercial with the dead rat looking thing. Remember that? No. You don't remember those commercials? There was a commercial that they had running for a while. It was like Quiznos. It was like this little rat thing. It was like a cutout of a paper thing. I, I'll have to show you sometime. Yeah. It's, it's and you think that's what, that's what pulled it under? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they had some like business practices that weren't yeah. so good. Uh, well, I think they were just it. they were just like you know you had Subway, <laughs> yeah, which uh, you know was like probably at least two three dollars cheaper, mm. you know, for like a twelve inch sub or even six inch. Like everything was just cheaper because yeah. they didn't have the toasting yeah aspect to it. But I mean, 
I really like that about Quiznos. Uh, yeah, I mean, like they had like the 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 nice slow rolling toaster. Yeah, saying they did the whole sandwich. It went through with like you know actual fire. Yeah, as opposed to like some kind of like microwave type thing. Yeah, How it's a pizza's not on this list. I'm surprised, honestly. Well, the tomato pie, technically, that's not, pizza. not quite the right. Ra- yeah, I was that's gonna say pizza. it's not quite pizza. Um, but I am surprised because, like, we have places like Lorenzo's yeah. downtown. They have these giant pieces of pizza that look like flags you put at the I guess airport. maybe New York is probably Manhattan. Yeah. There's probably more pizza. Or Chicago. Yeah. Big for their pizza. City, yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah, maybe we're just like, yeah, we'll leave that to New York. Florida pizza. Florida pizza? Pe- no? No. Oh, no. No, it's yeah. not good. <laughs> it's, I think it has something to do with, like, the New York water that they used for the dough. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, but they, used, they did have, like, Brooklyn... Brooklyn water bagel, mm. so like they ship down Brooklyn water and stuff like that for bagels. But um, there was only like one place mm. in Del. It was in Delray Beach called Wooden Fire. Wooden that was Fire, like, yeah. Nice. It was uh, probably the the best pizza I had down there. Wow, yeah, that's funny. I went to I was in Santa Fe years ago, um, New Mexico, and I went to this place called the Upper Crust. And yeah, the guy that. who, or the people who run that place were from Philadelphia. Mm. It was probably the best pizza I've had, uh, especially traveling. Yeah. But just the best pizza that I've had. I was like, dude, you need to freeze dry this and send me this. Or like, send me, send it somehow, send me this pizza so I can like hook it up at home. Cause like, like astronaut food? Yeah, yeah. Let's like defrost it. Yeah. <laughs> or just eat it crunchy. Dehydrate mm. it. <laughs> yeah, hey. I was like so good. I'm like, it's like God. sci-fi, you know. Yeah. You have a little pouch and you put it in the dehydrator or hydrator and a ding. <laughs> like, was it the Dinner. fifth, fifth was... element or something like that? Oh, um, Back to the Future too. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like, Dinner. Dinner's done. And it's just like, ding. Yeah, yeah it was Domino's, right? Yeah, you yeah. put in like a tiny little disc. <laughs> That's Classic. crazy. So obviously, number one on the Visit Philadelphia list is Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. I, um, I mean, I, that's obvious. Like, Pudges, right? Pudges? Well, there's one, in, it's in Bluebell. I mean, it's not Philly. Mm. Maybe it was from Philly, but Pudges. Yeah. Maybe it's a bigger one. And there's also another one. Uh, uh, the typical ones are Pat's Pizza. Yeah. Or Pat's uh, Cheesesteaks. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Gino's. 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 I've been to yeah. Gino's. Yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty I good. heard Pat's is starting to expand. Like, they want to expand a little bit more. Um, I don't know about Gino's. I'll be honest with you, though. Like, I've had pretty good cheesesteaks all over the city. And um, I don't I mean, really... it's kind of hard to mess up. It, honestly, it's like if you've made cheesesteaks for any it's of these guys... minimum three ingredients. Yeah. Honestly, that's the bread, meat, cheese, cheese. Yeah, the cheese steak. You yeah, get bread, onions and like onions, you know, yeah. peppers and stuff like that. Like, yeah. And like, was, what kind of cheese is that? Is is it cheddar? Uh I'd like to say it's it American. I'd like to say it's cheddar. I'd like to say it's cheddar. If I'm yeah, wrong, if you know. Yeah, leave a comment. <laughs> Let us know what you think of cheese sticks. We like information. Yeah. <laughs> so especially here at Greencastle, um, I know you've ordered cheese steaks from like Wegna, uh, Wegmans, mm-hmm. uh, a few other places. Uh, where do you prefer a good cheese steak? Like I said, you, it's hard to mess up, but yeah. surprisingly, places do. Yeah, they do. You know, yeah. so it's they like add too many ingredients, or they do something. Yeah, or like or you know, the f- bread soggy. Yeah, right. Like yeah. the meat is like too moist, and then, right. you know, like this. You know, you get soggy bread and stuff like that. So right. it is hard. You would think it's hard to mess up because I think it is hard to mess up. Yeah, but this is a man that's talking about that has no like real culinary experiment <laughs> experience. Um, but there, you know. It depends. Like, if I'm at Wawa, I'm probably not getting a cheesesteak. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Unless that's the thing that, like, looks the best on the menu. Yeah. Um, but I would probably like a pizza place. Mm-hmm. Any, any one of these pizza places yeah. are probably the best. Yeah. I have to say, one of the my favorite cheesesteaks um, in the city, um, well, actually outside the city, is uh, Del Sandro's in Philadelphia. Mm. And Del Sandro's. Maybe the that's che- one I went to. The cheesesteak literally, and like, I don't know if you can see my arm, is this big. It's as big as my arm. It's like huge. And it's got such weight to it that I'm like, if I eat this whole thing, that's how yeah. heavy I'm going to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, like dense. insane. Yeah. And then it's going to sink to my couch and then yeah. not be removed. They are very generous with their ingredients. Yeah. Very well, generous. That's how they keep coming back. Yeah. Yeah. And they have lines wrapped around the place so i'll like order it and then just like it's it's really good i, I think that's my favorite cheesesteak in the city well you know it's like they know i mean yeah i feel like when a business is confident with their um 
their product yeah. or their whatever they're serving their service mm -hmm. and they give you more yeah then like it just shows that you know they know you're going to come back yeah you yeah, know what i mean for sure what's uh any, anything else that you what do you do you have a, a favorite food that uh yeah, I, used to, I used to have a sweet tooth like you know i'd be like candy bar and a slurpee mm. every day like s spring and summer yeah uh you know every day yeah that's uh, sugar intake though right and i used to i used to eat a lot of sugar uh but like now it's like it's not worth it to me yeah you know and so it's like it has to be worth it you yeah. know because like sometimes you know you know you eat something and you feel bloated or like you feel like like lethargic yeah and it's because you know you know that's the fuel you're putting in your body so yeah you know once you get out like your mid 30s or your your 40s you know you know yeah. res respect that age res yeah. respect that age honestly because things are going to change and you're not ready for it and you're not you're never ready for it it's always just going to be something different and something new so respect that age for sure it's an adventure <laughs> life is yeah. an adventure for sure yeah. you know it's the biggest blessing like you when you wake up yeah. you have another chance to do it again you know and do do it better yeah. you know or achieve something you know like that's always great and you got a family and everything like that you got a wife how many kids you got three you got three kids man yeah. so yeah <laughs> yeah i think i think um you know going back to you know that what you just said is like um you know appreciating and like waking every day is a blessing and, yeah and i think for veterans it's different mm -hmm. you know because some of some of us have lost some people and, yes and friends and you know family members and or whatever you want to call it and uh you know ultimately it's like you don't do it for like you so much anymore yeah i think you do it i mean at least this is me uh you know it's like i owe it to those people mm -hmm. to to be my best yeah absolutely because they're not here right yeah you know they've uh, there's a lot of veterans that have um or there's a lot of um service members that have lost their lives to uh pr protect us protect our freedoms yeah and those are the things that we want to value and we want to value in our lives on a daily basis like being the best that you can be being the best human you can be yeah. uh and just giving giving back as much as you can too and as, as a service member especially as a veteran um some people i think after they've left the service they don't know what to do with themselves they don't yeah. know how to serve you know but like it's easy to, to do if you think about it. Um, just reach out to another veteran, somebody else that you you know that's out there. Just make sure that they know that you're there to support them also so yeah. that they're not feeling alone, especially in these times. You know, there, there's so many things that you can get yourself involved in um, that could give you that sense of purpose. Yeah. You know. That's why I like doing this job because, mm. you know, in uh, just naturally, I get to help out, like, you know, with the, the events yeah in-house mm. you know it's for veterans you know yeah. it's we're all veteran owned yeah and operated Absolutely. um so it's it, it gives me it's, it's multiple uh birds with one stone mm. you know? yeah so i get to help but i also get to help a specific group of people that i care about yeah yeah you know? absolutely green castles gives me a lot of good found foundational things mm. um you know and the people i work with you know they're all like team players and yeah and stuff like that so again like I might be doing a lot of the things, but uh, you know, I don't think I would be doing close to as good of a job if I didn't have the people that I have are surrounded. Yeah, but you know, it's not yeah. me. It's good to have a good team, and uh, it's good to have that uh, camaraderie. Yeah, uh, especially when you're. It's doing almost like, like unity yes. is more important. <laughs> hmm. I know. Let's 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 uh. Unity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, meet the Gacker face off. All right, so the idea behind this game is that it is like Family Feud. You get four answers, but you have one question. So the one question for you is, other than feet, name something that runs. <laughs> now you got four answers on the board. You have no strikes right now, so you have plenty of room here. So, so does it have to be like? Other than feet. <laughs> okay. Name something that runs. A nose. Yep, you got it. That's the bottom one. That's number four. Eight people said nose. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. A refrigerator. Ooh, refrigerator number three. No. Oh. All right. All right. We only got two left and no strikes. This is awesome. <clears throat> you might get this. Something that runs. <laughs> hmm. An engine. A, a car engine, yeah, yeah, that's number two. Oh. So you have the top answer now. You might be the first one <laughs> to get all of this. So yeah. the top answer is the only thing that's missing. Yep, the, you you only have one answer left, Runs. and no strikes. So you're in great uh, great position. Hmm. 
for the audience. Other than feet, name something that runs. So your previous answers were nose, refrigerator, and engine. Water? Water! Yes! <laughs> Water, toilet was the number one answer with 37. Uh -huh. Uh, you did it! Right. You did it! Ah! <laughs> Congratulations for getting put into the bracket. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's always great to talk to you. Yeah. It's like just <laughs> you know, I, you know, I've never done a podcast before. And, yeah. Um, well, we try to make them chill. You know, yeah, relaxed. I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it gives you know, it gives you you know, you're it, you are you a chance to, or at least me, the mm. chance to, uh, it, you know be a little different than I am. I mean, I mm. wouldn't say I'm like su super different outside yeah. of this podcast room, but mm. you know, gives me a little chance to like interact in a little bit of a different way. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like to be funny. I like to people, make people laugh and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully you're laughing. <laughs> hopefully you're laughing. I hope you're enjoying the episode and we're going to have more episodes obviously throughout the year. Uh, every single week we do a new episode on Tuesday, uh, at 11 AM. Um, so make sure you like and subscribe so you can get new content uh, whenever it's available. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate your time, and I know you're a really busy guy, and you're always you're running around. You even got an event today. Yeah. 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 I, I'm, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for having All right. me. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. If you found this content to be useful and entertaining, do us a favor and hit the like button. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. You can stay up to date with new episodes that we post every week. See you in the next episode.